एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Okay, now in the first part we have studied about the working of induction motor and how the three magnetic fields are rotating in the induction motor. Now due to these rotating field in the induction motor, flux is introduced in the motor. So how that flux is related in the three phases? Uh, that will be understand in the second part. I am Narendra Kaur. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, kindly refer this book by S. Chand Publishing. E-book link description is given in the description box. Let us begin with the second part. Now, the flux is introduced here. The rate of change of flux that is equals to B into d A by d T plus A into d B by d T. Now, this is part. This part is related to induction motor now flux that can be given by relation phi m into sin omega t if this represent the development the flux which is developed in the r winding if this is related to r winding then if and denote this by the phi 1 then phi 2 that can be written as or you can say that this is phi r or this is the phi y then that is equals to phi m into sin omega t minus 120 degree then phi b that can be written as phi m into sin omega t plus 120 degree that the three colors they are related to each other in this case these three phases are separated to each other by an angle of 120 degree also their resultant is seen like this we already understand here the br that is a field develop in the r winding here this is a by where field that is developed in the y winding and this is a bb which is a field developed in the blue winding so here the angle between each is 120 degree means the y winding left lags behind the r by an angle of 120 degree where the blue winding leads the r by an angle of 120 degree and their resultant is represented by bt which is the total field over here now we want to discuss here some special cases now first one in the first case when theta is zero theta is zero so in that case the phi at the red winding that can be written as phi m into sin theta here that can be written as firstly write out the value theta minus 120 and blue that can be written as phi m into sin theta plus 120 degree now in the ideal case when the ideal case when theta is 120 theta is 0 when theta is 0 so phi r that is phi m sin 0 sin 0 is 0 then this value is equals to 0 then phi y that is equals to phi m into sin 0 minus 120 means sin minus theta is minus sin theta sin 120 so its value will be equals to minus phi m root 3 by 2 again phi this blue that can be written as phi m into sin 120 so that is equals to phi m root 3 by 2 so how this value can be represented so this phi r is 0 so phi r if this is represented by dot then this is equals to phi m Minus root three by two. Again, that is equals to phi m root three by two. If they are separated by angle one twenty degree. Now this is in the negative direction. 
if we want to plot this in the positive direction, so that can be seen like this. It is projection in the positive direction. So, it is projection in the positive direction that can be given like this. That is phi m root 3 by 2 and the angle between them is equals to 30 degree over here. So, here the angle is 30 degree. So, the resultant of this that can be equals to 2 into phi m root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2. So, that is equals to 3 by 2 into phi m. So, then the total flux that is equals to 1.5 into phi m. So, the total flux in case of rotating field, rotating magnetic field, the total flux that is equals to 1.5 into phi m. So, this is a total flux. So, in this case induction motor, what we have seen that if this is a value of field due to R, uh, R wire and if this is due to yellow one, So, these are the three phase windings over here. The angle between these winding is 120 degree. Then their resultant is equal to Bt which is equal to Bm into 1.5. That means 1.5 into Bm. So, this is a resultant field in the given winding. So, this is all about the working of induction motor. Now, how we can draw this in the phasor diagram? So, in the phasor diagram, now this is the, if this is the red one, 5. Now, in the yellow one, in that case, for yellow one, that is equals to 5 m into sin theta minus 120 means there is a lags behind in the phase. So, that is due to yellow one. Now, the blue winding for the blue one that is written as phi m into sin theta plus 120 degree means it leads the value. So, this is due to blue one. So, this is the three phasor diagram. This is called three phasor diagram for rotating magnetic field in induction motor. in induction motor. So, this is the all about the, so now in this topic we have studied about the rotating ma magnetic field, about the working of induction motor and the three phasor diagram in case of induction motor. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, kindly refer this book by the S. Chant Publishing. Ebook link description is given in the description box. If you like this video, please kindly like, subscribe and share this video and also press the bell icon for the future notification. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.